Hi, and welcome to the tutorial series for the MX200 Digital Readout by MetLogix. In this video, we will be taking a look at the MX Link PC Companion application. The MX Link PC Companion application allows wireless transfer of measurement results from a connected MX200 to the Windows PC it's connected to. In this video, we will be taking a look at the setup procedure for discovering and establishing the wireless connection to the readout, as well as how to actually transfer the measurement data from the readout to the PC. There are a few simple steps we need to do in order to prepare for this connection. First, the MX Link capability in the MX200 readout requires a proper license. You will know if your system is equipped with the MX Link license by looking in the top right toolbar for the MX Link status icon. If you see this status icon, you will know you are set to continue with the communication setup. If you do not see this icon and need more information, please reach out to your MetLogix representative. Next, we will look at installing the MX Link application on the Windows PC. Simply run the Windows Setup Installer program, and once complete, an MX Link shortcut will be added to your desktop, as seen here. Next, we need to ensure that our readout is successfully connected to a network. We're going to go ahead into the MX Setup menu, into Setup, and into the System menu, in order to access the Wi-Fi settings screen in the MX200 readout. As you can see, the Wi-Fi radio is enabled and we've successfully communicating with a network. Great, let's go back to the Windows PC and run the MX Link application for the first time. When you run MX Link for the first time, you'll be presented with the option to select your display language. Don't worry, this language can be changed later in the main setup menus of the MX Link application. Now that we've launched the MX Link application window, let's take a look around. Upon first launch, you'll notice that we have a file log tab, as well as a devices tab that will be displayed. It's in this main devices tab that we'll begin the process of pairing our MX200 readout with the connected PC application. The first step will be to press the Discover button, as seen here. The MX Link application will go out and try to detect all licensed MX200s that are detected on the same network. Any detected devices will be listed here in the Devices tab. You'll find the IP address of the connected device as well as the device serial number and a couple of other fields that we're going to talk about now. First, the Name field. This allows us to assign a unique name to each connected device in MX Link. Great. Next to the name field, we have a folder path. This allows us to set the directory where the transferred CSV and TSV files from the MX200 will be located. Go ahead and simply press set directory and then choose the location where you'd like the exported files to go to. This can either be a local path on the Windows PC or even a networked path location. The final column is the status column. This indicates the current connection status between the readout and the PC application. As you can see, we're not connected. We'll go ahead and press the connect button in the bottom left to finish the connection. As you can see, as soon as the connection was established, a new tab was added to the MX Link window. This tab has the same name that we use to uniquely identify this MX200 readout. If we click back at the Devices tab, you can see that our device is now connected. 
These results tabs can be removed from the main application window in order to organize display of data when more than one unit is connected at one time. Great. Now let's go ahead and look at the process for sending data from the MX200 to the MXLink application. As you can see, we have some measurement results here in our feature list. If we go ahead and navigate to our data view, we can find our export button. When an MX link is established between an MX200 and the application itself, the export functions will send the data directly to the re receiving tab as well as transfer the file itself to the destination folder configured in the PC application. In addition to this, the data template that is currently selected will be used to format that data as it's sent to the Windows PC. We'll go ahead and pick CSV in this case, the export menu, and we'll send the data directly over. As you can see, the data immediately populates our results tab on the Windows side. In addition to this, the file itself was also transferred to the PC. When we navigate to the defined path for the export, we can find our new data located. It is also possible to take the data from the MX link and send it directly to Microsoft Excel. Simply select the data that you'd like to send and press the export button found here in the MX link window. A copy of Microsoft Excel will open and the data will be directly transferred. It is possible to configure the MX link to communicate with more than one device. There are two ways in which this works. Either a single instance of the MX link can be connected to multiple licensed MX200s, or multiple instances of the MX link application can receive data from a single MX200 device, whichever better meets your data management requirements. When we click to exit the MX Link application, we will be prompted as to where we would like the application to reside. We can click Yes to run the application in the background, whereby the application will be minimized to the system tray. We can click No to exit the application entirely, or we can click Cancel to return to the MX Link application. We'll click Yes to run in the background. As you can see, an MX Link button is in the system tray so that it can be quickly called back to the main Windows desktop. You will find some additional options in the MX Links menus for some additional features. We can enable MX Link to, to launch on Windows Startup, choose a new language, or quickly load the MX Link user guide from the Help submenu. Thanks so much for joining.